Hello and welcome back to our Shooter Bot AI series. This is a bonus episode as requested by my patrons and uh, other supporters. And I want to go through and show you how to add prediction to your AI. So there is a prediction based AI sense and that allows the AI to predict where they think you're going to be when they've lost sight of you. So to do this, you go into the bot's AI controller and go to the perception component. Then on the right hand side, you can see the senses. And we're going to add another sense to this. And we're going to choose from the drop down the prediction sense config. If you go into the options, you'll see there's not really anything to do here. So it's all good. We leave it like that. And then that's it. So what is prediction? So what prediction is doing is it's constantly checking where it thinks you're going to be based on your current velocity and the amount of time that it's checking against. So it would look at which way you're going, how fast you're going, and it will say in 0.5 seconds or 3 seconds or whatever, that is where you're going to be. So what we want to do on our character here is we want to make it do use prediction, but only when it loses sight of the player. So prediction is called when it does do that, when it has no other senses to go by. So what we can do is we need to determine when we're using that sense. At the moment, we're just using all on one thing here. But now we're going to break that down into further fields to make it um, a little bit better for later use. So what I mean by that is we're going to combine this into a function. So we're going to select everything from this uh, break AI stimulus. And all along here. Here. And here. As well as here. The rest of this it will leave as is. So right click on all this and collapse to function. Now this function, we don't want the delegate, we can get rid of that. And we can remove that input. And this is going to be the handle site sense. So we're going to call that one. Handle site sense. And we only want to do this when this sense stimulus is going to say it is AI sense site. So what happens is the stimulus is actually outputting which stimulus it actually is being sent over. So what we do is get the name of it and compare it through a switch controller. So in here we'll do a name. So you get class I. There you go. Get the class first and then get the name of it. And that name is going to go into a switch. Let's just move this out of the way. Switch on string. Now the first item in the string, we're going to put in AI sense and put underscore site. Then we want another one for AI sense underscore damage and finally our prediction AI sense the score prediction so it will decide which one to do here now currently sight and damage are handling the same way over here so we can just plug sight into our branch here and actually let's put our branch on the other side of this put sight into here and damage also into here so they're both using the same thing. Our prediction is slightly different. With prediction, we're telling it to uh, basically get a new target location. So rather than setting a target actor, we're setting a target location, which we do have already in our Blackboard. So we're going to go down here, and we're going to set Blackboard. Uh, well, first of all, we have to get Blackboard. And from there, we set value as vector. Make a literal key name. And type in target location, which is the key that we've, we've been using for our EQS. It's the same one. And we'll drag that onto our sense prediction. Okay, so the vector value is going to come from our stimulus, which is over here. So the stimulus, we're going to just over here, we're going to promote that to a uh, variable and plug that in. 
so. Rather than dragging lines everywhere, it makes it a bit neater. Just connect it all up like that. And in here for set value as vector, we're going to drag out stimulus, get, and split that. And for predict prediction, it's going to give you a stimulus location, and that's going to go into the vector value for that. And to show you that it's starting to use this, we'll just do a little print string so you can e make it even easier to tell when it's using our prediction. Hello. I am predicting your location. Okay, so that's all done now. Now just need to put this branch back in and this is gonna go at the start here. So let's move that along. There we go. And that should do it. So over here we're getting the sense and actor and the stimulus and storing them as variables temporarily. And then we're comparing the sense actor to the player character. And if that is the case, we're getting this class for the sense. And then we're doing a switch based on the sense's name. So if it's a sight or damage, it's going to use the same stuff we've been using before. And if it's prediction, it's going to be using this one where it gets the target location. Now we did disconnect the delegate coming from our handle site sense. That will go to lose target. So to fix that, we go into our function. And you've got a set time by event here. Drag down from this event and do create event. And now you can choose your lose target function. And that's how you call that from there. Okay, so that will get happening here. The only other thing we've got to do is tell it how long we want it to predict for. So on this set time by event lose target and lose target timer, this is obviously when it loses the target. And that's when we're going to start the prediction. So it makes sense here to set prediction timer. So just drag out and type in the word predict and you'll see request controller prediction event. There's also a pawn based one, but we're gonna use a controller as we are on the controller, it makes it a bit easier. And from there, we take the requester and that is self. That's the controller you want to handle this. And the predicted actor is gonna be the target. So go sensed actor and plug that into predicted actor. And the prediction time is how long you want it to predict ahead. So I'm going to do 0. Uh, let's do 1. So for one second it, in the future, it'll predict where you've gone based on your current velocity. Compile and save that. So if I, uh, one thing I will do for your sake watching this is I'm going to change the debug color on the prediction sense so you can see it a bit clearer because its default is gray. Difficult. So let's do it as uh, purple, pink, whatever you want to call that one. Oh, and save. Now, in order for it to determine when it wants to go to prediction location or to a normal patrol location, we need to have another blackboard key in there. And that's keeping track of whether or not you can actually, at the moment, see the player. So we're going to go into our blackboard or our behavior tree, go to new key, use ball. And call this one can see player. Hit save and then go to the behavior tree. Now, on the behavior tree, we've got a chasing sequence and we've got this move to target actor. This is a hit chasing down the player. However, we only want to do this if it can actually see the player. So, right click on here, add decorator, and choose blackboard. And then from that, you want to choose the can see player. Now, if you don't see it here straight away, just hit save on both of them and then go back and it should. Now up here, like so. So I choose can see player and I want it to be is set. But if it turns to be false, I want the observer boards here to abort itself. Now this will all connect to a selector. So put a selector in between it and the shooting service. And the selector is going to have another move to. This time it's moving to the target location. So when it can see player returns false, it's going to do this one instead because this is a abort. That's that there done. We're now going to go back to the AI controller and you want to find yourself on the handle site sense. Now in here, we're going to do a very simple get blackboard. And from there, set value as ball. And then for the key name, we're going to make literal and type in P. 
can see player. Making sure you spell it exactly the way you've got it in your blackboard. The successfully sensed pin will go into the ball value there. So when it is seeing the player, it will go true. When it doesn't see the player, it will go false. Make sure you hook that back in. And we're now done. So if I were to play test this, I'll turn on debug and turn on this. The prediction is that purple's pink uh, sphere and he'll go towards that pink uh, sphere. Ah, there he is. Okay, so he'll go over there like that. So he's predicting where I'm going to go based on my current velocity and how long we've told it to look for ahead. Now go to that spot. Oh, you see me too much. But here, I'll go to this spot here. See if I can sneak up behind him. There you go. So he went to that spot and now he's back to patrolling. And there you go. So now our AI will predict where we're going to go when they lose sight of us. I'm going to do another episode after this one, and that is going to be how to make it so he detects sound. So when you shoot at him, he knows when he's being shot at. So join us in the next episode over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley right now from just $1 a month. With that $1, you get access to all of my videos before anyone else, as well as many other benefits. Big thank you to all my patrons and YouTube subscribers for their continued support. If you're watching this and you haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss any of the content I release on a weekly basis. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye everyone.